we are mobilizing currently is 18 million US dollars, which is equivalent to 65 billion, to support the response for three months. This money is quite little. It is not enough to completely bring the Ebola epidemic to an end. However, it is enough to move us as we assess the evolution of the pandemic, of the, sorry, of the epidemic. Because right now, we don't know which direction it will take. We only are very sure of what is currently in Mubende. But in the 20 districts, information will keep on coming. We have 35 confirmed cases. And we have lost seven people, unfortunately, and one of them is a medical doctor who was doing his residency. When I say residency, I mean he was doing his master's in surgery at KIU. And uh, unfortunately, we lost him today at about 3.15 a.m. in one of our isolation facilities in Fort Porto Regional Referral Hospital, a facility that we refer to as JMedic because it is a research facility, but we use it to look after our health workers. The current outbreak has now affected four districts. That is Mubende, which has the epicenter at Madudu. It has also affected Chegegua, Kasanda, and the last district that came on board yesterday is Kagadi. All these districts have one characteristic in common in that people from Madudu ran to these districts because they thought there was witchcraft in Madudu. And currently, we have, I would put it at six health workers because we have five after losing one in our isolation facility in Fort Porto and one in Mubende. And we will subsequently move him as well. All these 65 health workers are under quarantine. Quarantine means they stay at home and we follow them up. We don't isolate, we only isolate those who are confirmed positive. The cases that you have been reporting as probable, probable cases are dead cases. Cases that died before we could confirm but had signs and symptoms similar to Ebola. We don't have probable health workers. We have suspect cases who are under quarantine.